Welcome to Around BI. In this tutorial, we will understand structure of dimension table in data warehouse. We will focus on what would be standard layout of dimension tables. In our tutorial video on dimension and facts, we defined what is dimension and what is fact. We got the idea that every business process contains two types of data. One that provides quantitative information about business process and other that describes these quantitative numbers. Data that is label based and descriptive and that explains business numbers are typically termed as dimensions. In our example of retail sales data, date, store, product and transaction number are some examples of dimensions. Let's start from there. I feel that a good way to understand dimension table structure is to first pick a dimension and understand its properties and nature and then decide what could be the best way to structure that dimension in a table. I will pick store dimension. We will go into details of store dimension and try to find different attributes associated with it. In a retail business, each store represents a physical location. And we know that a physical location will always have an address. Address provides geographical information. So each address consists of certain geographical attributes. It will have a street name, city name, state name and a country name. A zip code will also be associated with each store address. These are some possible attributes that associate with store dimension. If we notice these attributes are text based and are providing some description about store dimension. Good. Generally we store all these descriptive information and attributes of a dimension in a separate dimension table. A dimension table keeps these attributes that describes the objects in a fact table. For example, total revenue by store city. So we will start creating a store dimension table with these attributes. Store name, street name, city name, state name and country name and a zip code. But there is a possibility of more than one stores with same name. To avoid duplicate record issue, a table in database needs a key field also that will differentiate each row from other. For example, in a retail system, we need to keep a store ID just to distinguish stores with the same name. We are going in right direction. Now if we talk about structure of dimension table, each dimension table will have two parts. First that is set of attributes and second a primary key column. These attributes and key field go as columns in dimension table. So in our example of store dimension, all these text based attributes will go as column in store dimension table. A primary key column is used to identify each dimension record. The dimension table is associated with a fact table using this key. This primary key is embedded as a foreign key in any associated fact table. With primary key, a very important concept comes in mind that is concept of surrogate key. We will discuss surrogate key in details in next tutorial. With this schema, a common table property can be noticed here that dimension table is flat and denormalized. These structures are mainly built to enable users to analyze data easily. Ideally, these attributes should be expressed in more words as much as possible. Then only it will provide better description and will be complete in meaning. Also, it should be designed in such a way that they can be shared between multiple data marts and cubes within a data warehouse. This ensures that data warehouse provides consistent information for similar queries. If our store dimension table is constructed in a way so that it has unique meaning and definition to organization data warehouse. It will be used smoothly in retail business process and inventory business process without doing any further changes. In other example, date dimension table. Once created, it can be used across different business processes. The main purpose of dimension table is that user can do a specific and precise query in reporting and analytics, where we use combinations of these attributes to group data in the fact table. The descriptive levels on reports are typically dimension attribute values. We do various slicing and dicing and filtering of fact data using these attributes. If you come back to our example, attributes of store dimension will help in querying sales revenue for a store location or for a particular city or state. We can also group quantity sold or any other measure along store dimension attributes. This is all about for now. In next tutorial, we will understand concept of surrogate key and why we should use surrogate key with dimension tables. Please share your feedback and comments with us. Thanks for watching.